In Christianity, All Souls Day are the commemoration of all the faithful departed, that is, of the souls of all Christians who have died, follows All Saints. Day, observing Christians typically remember deceased relatives on the day. In Western Christianity the annual celebration is now held on 2 November and is associated with the season of Allhallowtide, including All Saints Day the 1st of November and its vigil, Halloween the 31st of October. In the Catholic Church, the faithful refers specifically to baptized Catholics. All Souls commemorates the Church penitent of souls in purgatory, whereas All Saints commemorates the Church triumphant of saints in heaven. In the liturgical books of the Western Catholic Church, the Latin Church, it is called the commemoration of all the faithful departed, Latin commemoratio omnium fidelium defunctorum, and is celebrated annually on the 2nd of November. In the ordinary form of the Roman Rite, as well as in the personal ordinariates established by Benedict XVI for former Anglicans, it remains on 2 November if this date falls on a Sunday. In the 1962 1969 form of the Roman Rite, use of which is still authorized, it is transferred to Monday 3 November. On this day in particular, Catholics pray for the dead. In the Church of England it is called the Commemoration of the Faithful Departed All Souls Day and as an optional celebration, Anglicans view All Souls Day as an extension of the observance of All Saints Day and it serves to remember those who have died in connection with the theological doctrines of the resurrection of the body and the communion of saints. In the Eastern Orthodox Church and the associated Eastern Catholic Churches, it is celebrated several times during the year and is not associated with the month of November. Beliefs and practices associated with All Souls Day vary widely among Christian churches and denominations. <laughs> Observance by denomination Byzantine Greek Catholic and the Eastern Orthodoxy Topic Among Eastern Orthodox and Byzantine Greek Catholics there are several All Souls Days during the year Most of these fall on Saturday since Jesus lay in the tomb on Holy Saturday They occur on the following occasions The Saturday of Meat Fair Week the second Saturday before Great Lent the day before the Sunday of the Last Judgment the second Saturday of Great Lent The third Saturday of Great Lent The fourth Saturday of Great Lent Radonitsa Monday or Tuesday after Thomas Sunday The Saturday before Pentecost Demetrius Saturday The Saturday before the Feast of St. Demetrius of Thessaloniki the 26th of October in all of the Orthodox Church there is a commemoration of the dead on the Saturday before the Feast of St. Michael the Archangel the 8th of November, instead of the Demetrius Sol Saturday. In the Serbian Orthodox Church there is also a commemoration of the dead on the Saturday closest to the conception of St. John the Baptist. The 23rd of September, in Slavic and Greek churches, all of the Lenten Sol Saturdays are typically observed. In some of the churches of the Eastern Mediterranean, Meat Fair Saturday, Radonitsa and the Saturday before Pentecost are typically observed. In addition to the Sundays mentioned above, Saturdays throughout the year are days for general commemoration of All Saints, and special hymns to All Saints are chanted from the Octoechos, unless some greater feast or saints commemoration occurs. Topic: <laughs> East Syriac tradition. Topic: East Syriac churches including the Syro-Malabar Church and Chaldean Catholic Church commemorates the Feast of Departed Faithful on the last Friday of Epiphany which means Friday just before start of Great Lent. The season of Epiphany remembers the revelation of Christ to the world. And on each Fridays of season of Epiphany the Church remembers some important figures in the evangelism, apart from this in Syro-Malabar Church Friday before the parish festival is also celebrated as Feast of Departed Faithful. Here the parish remembers the activities of forefathers who worked for the parish and faithful. They also request the intercession of all departed souls for the faithful celebration of parish festival. In East Syriac liturgy the church remembers departed souls including saints on every Fridays throughout the year since the Christ was crucified and died on Friday. Roman Catholicism 
Topic. Topic. Background. Topic. The Catholic Church teaches that the purification of the souls in purgatory can be hastened by the actions of the faithful on earth. Its teaching is based also on the practice of prayer for the dead mentioned as far back as 2 Maccabees 1242-46. In the West there is ample evidence of the custom of praying for the dead in the inscriptions of the catacombs, with their constant prayers for the peace of the souls of the departed and in the early liturgies, which commonly contain commemorations of the dead. Tertullian, Cyprian and other early Western fathers witness to the regular practice of praying for the dead among the early Christians. The theological basis for the feast is the doctrine that the souls which, on departing from the body, are not perfectly cleansed from venial sins, or have not fully atoned for past transgressions, are debarred from the beatific vision, and that the faithful on earth can help them by prayers, alms deeds and especially by the sacrifice of the Mass. Because purgatory is outside of time and space, it is not necessarily accurate to speak of a location or duration in purgatory. History In the 6th century, it was customary in Benedictine monasteries to hold a commemoration of the deceased members at Whitsuntide. According to Wittekind of Corvey, c. 975, there existed a time-honored ceremony of praying to the dead on 1 October in Saxony. But it was the day after All Saints' Day that Saint Odello of Cluny chose when in the 11th century he instituted for all the monasteries dependent on the Abbey of Cluny an annual commemoration of all the faithful departed, to be observed with alms, prayers, and sacrifices for the relief of the suffering souls in purgatory. Odillo decreed that those requesting a Mass be offered for the departed should make an offering for the poor, thus linking almsgiving with fasting and prayer for the dead. From there the 2nd of November custom spread to other Benedictine monasteries and thence to the Western Church in general. The Diocese of Liege was the first diocese to adopt the practice under Bishop Notger d. 1008. .In the 15th century the Dominicans instituted a custom of each priest offering three Masses on the Feast of All Souls. During World War I, given the great number of war dead and the many destroyed churches where Mass could no longer be said, Pope Benedict XV, granted all priests the privilege of offering three Masses on All Souls Day, a permission that still stands. Known as the Commemoration of All the Faithful Departed, in some countries the celebration is known as the Day of the Dead. <laughs> Liturgical practice In the Roman Rite as revised in 1969, if the 2nd of November falls on a Sunday, the Mass is of all souls, but the Liturgy of the Hours is that of the Sunday. However, public celebration of lauds and vespers of the dead with the people participating is permitted. While celebration of a Sunday, a solemnity or a feast of the Lord replacing a Sunday begins on the previous evening with Vespers and perhaps evening Mass, the general norms do not allow for anticipation on Saturday evening of the Liturgy of All Souls, day falling on a Sunday, and so they suggest that the formula of the Mass on that Saturday evening is that of the Solemnity of All Saints, which outranks the Sunday of ordinary time whose Mass would be celebrated on that evening. However, in 2014, the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops decided that for that year the Saturday evening Sunday vigil Mass in that country was to be that of all souls. In countries such as Italy, the situation was less clear. In countries where All Saints' Day is not a holy day of obligation, attendance at an evening Mass of All Saints on Saturday, 1 November, satisfies the Sunday obligation. In England and Wales, where holy days of obligation that fall on a Saturday are transferred to the following day, if the 2nd of November is a Sunday, the Solemnity of All Saints is transferred to that date, and All Souls Day is transferred to the 3rd of November. In pre-1970 forms of the Roman Rite, still observed by some, if All Souls Day falls on a Sunday, it is always transferred to the 3rd of November. In divine worship, the Missal the Minor Propers in Troit, Gradual, Tract, Sequence, Offertory, and Communion are those used for Renaissance and classical musical requiem settings, including the Dies Array. This permits the performance of traditional requiem settings in the context of the divine worship form of the Roman Rite on All Souls Day as well as at funerals, votive celebrations of all faithful departed, and anniversaries of deaths. Topic. All Souls Indulgence. 
According to the Enchiridion of Indulgences, an indulgence, applicable only to the souls in purgatory, is granted to the faithful, who devoutly visit a cemetery and pray for the departed. The indulgence is plenary, under the usual conditions, each day from the 1st to the 8th of November. A partial indulgence is granted on any other days of the year. Visit to a church or oratory on All Souls' Day. Plenary indulgence. A plenary indulgence, applicable only to the souls in purgatory, may be obtained by those who, on All Souls' Day, piously visit a church, public oratory, or for those entitled to use it, a semi-public oratory. It may be acquired either on the day designated as All Souls' Day or, with the consent of the bishop, on the preceding or following Sunday or the Feast of All Saints. On visiting the church or oratory it is required that one Our Father and the Creed be recited. <laughs> Lutheran churches among continental Protestants its tradition has been more tenaciously maintained. During Luther's lifetime, All Souls' Day was widely observed in Saxony although the Roman Catholic meaning of the day was discarded. Ecclesiastically in the Lutheran Church, the day was merged with, and is often seen as an extension of All Saints' Day, with many Lutherans still visiting and decorating graves on all the days of Allhallowtide, including All Souls' Day. Just as it is the custom of French people, of all ranks and creeds, to decorate the graves of their dead on the Jour des Morts, so German, Polish and Hungarian people stream to the graveyards once a year with offerings of flowers and special grave lights. Among Czech people the custom of visiting and tidying graves of relatives on the day is quite common. In 1816, Prussia introduced a new date for the remembrance of the dead among its Lutheran citizens, Totensentag, the last Sunday before Advent. This custom was later also adopted by the non-Prussian Lutherans in Germany, but it has not spread much beyond the Protestant areas of Germany. Anglican Communion In the Anglican Communion, All Souls' Day is known liturgically as the commemoration of all faithful departed, and as an optional observance seen as an extension of All Saints' Day the latter of which marks the second day of Allhallowtide. Historically and at present, several Anglican churches are dedicated to All Souls. During the English Reformation, the observance of All Souls Day lapsed, although a new Anglican theological understanding of the day has led to a widespread acceptance of this commemoration among Anglicans. Patricia Bayes, with regard to the Anglican view of All Souls Day, wrote that, all Souls Day November 2nd, is a time when we particularly remember those who have died. The prayers appointed for that day remind us that we are joined with the communion of saints, that great group of Christians who have finished their earthly life and with who we share the hope of resurrection from the dead. As such, Anglican parishes now commemorate all the faithful departed in the context of the All Saints Day celebration. In keeping with this fresh perspective, contributing to the revival was the need to help Anglicans mourn the deaths of millions of soldiers in World War I. Members of the Guild of All Souls, an Anglican devotional society founded in 1873, are encouraged to pray for the dying and the dead, to participate in a requiem of All Souls Day and say a litany of the faithful departed at least once a month. At the Reformation the celebration of All Souls Day was fused with All Saints. Day in the Church of England or, in the judgment of some, it was deservedly abrogated. It was reinstated in certain parishes in connection with the Oxford movement of the 19th century and is acknowledged in United States Anglicanism in the Holy Women, Holy Men calendar and in the Church of England with the 1980 Alternative Service Book. It features in common worship as a lesser festival called Commemoration of the Faithful Departed All Souls Day. Methodist churches In the Methodist Church, saints refer to all Christians and therefore, on All Saint's Day, the Church Universal, as well as the deceased members of a local congregation are honored and remembered. In Methodist congregations that celebrate the liturgy on All Souls' Day, the observance, as with Anglicanism and Lutheranism, is viewed as an extension of All Saints. Day and as such, Methodists, "...remember our loved ones who had died," 
in their observance of this feast. Topic: <inaudible> Origins, Practices and Purposes. Topic: Some believe that the origins of all souls day in European folklore and folk belief are related to customs of ancestor veneration practiced worldwide, through events such as, in India Pitru Paksha, the Chinese Ghost Festival, the Japanese Bon Festival. The Roman custom was that of the Lemuria, the formal commemoration of the saints and martyrs all saints. Day existed in the early Christian Church since its legalization, and alongside that developed a day for commemoration of all the dead all souls. Day. The modern date of All Souls Day was first popularized in the early 11th century after Abbot Odillo established it as a day for the monks of Cluny and associated monasteries to pray for the souls in purgatory. Many of these European traditions reflect the dogma of purgatory. For example, ringing bells for the dead was believed to comfort them in their cleansing there, while the sharing of soul cakes with the poor helped to buy the dead a bit of respite from the suffering of purgatory. In the same way, lighting candles was meant to kindle a light for the dead souls languishing in the darkness. Out of this grew the traditions of going souling and the baking of special types of bread or cakes. In Tyrol, cakes are left for them on the table and the room kept warm for their comfort. In Brittany, people flock to the cemeteries at nightfall to kneel, bareheaded, at the graves of their loved ones, and to anoint the hollow of the tombstone with holy water or to pour libations of milk on it. At bedtime, the supper is left on the table for the souls. In Malta, a traditional All Souls supper includes roasted pig, based on an All Souls Day custom where the Maltese feasted on a pig let loose on the streets with a bell hanging around its neck. Entire neighborhoods would feed it, and on the day cook it to feed the poor. In Linz, funereal musical pieces known as aquales were played from tower tops on All Souls Day and the evening before. See also Topic. Day of the Dead Festival of the Dead Office of the Dead Prayer for the Dead Thursday of the Dead Zaduski Topic. Notes Topic. Topic. Further reading Topic. Tracy O. S. M., Liam. The Liturgy of All Souls Day. Catholic Ireland, 30 November 1999. External links Saturday Before Pentecost. PDF. Archived from the original PDF on the 30th of June 2007, 17.1 kilobytes. Notes on Russian Orthodox observance by N. Bulgakov. Saturday of Meat Fair Week. PDF. Archived from the original PDF on the 29th of November 2007, 13.9 kilobytes. N. Bulgakov. Pope offers Mass for faithful departed on All Souls Day. Vatican Radio, 2 November 2016